Yeah, there's a lot of roadblocks for new coaches when they start. And again, just like any other business, there's going to be roadblocks. I think some of the first things is, is actually coaches thinking they need certain things they don't need, right? So I hear all the time from new coaches and they reach out to me saying, how do I pick my niche? Right? How do I find the exact customer avatar that I'm supposed to be working with? And in some businesses that makes sense. It's really good to have that target focus. And it's not bad to have that in coaching. But what happens is a lot of coaches will say, I need to have that before I can go out there and be of service. And so what I say instead is, is to back into your niche. Go out there and help everybody. Like anybody with a pulse and a problem, go out and help them. Go out and do whatever you can to serve them. And after you do that for a while and you get results and you're actually making a difference in the world, you'll be able to say, hmm, there are certain kinds of people I seem to like working with more than others. There are certain types of people I get better results with than with others. And now all of a sudden you kind of have your niche, but not because you picked it ahead of time in, in a marketing exercise, but because those are the people that you really make an impact with. I guess if there's any other roadblock, it's just it's recognizing that we really as coaches have to, you know, there's the, the, two, the two pronged approach. We have to coach our butts off and we have to be coached powerfully. Right. And so I think sometimes new coaches will think, oh, well, you know, I can't afford a coach right now. I can't afford a powerful coach. And that's OK. That not everybody can afford a, a very powerful coach when they first start. There's no problem with that. But finding some way to experience being coached. So whether it's peer coaching or buddy coaching, just having some way to, to be coached, to experience what it's like to be coached. You know, they say in the insurance industry that as soon as somebody gets in the insurance sales industry, they buy insurance for themselves because it shows they believe in the product. And so by you going out as a coach and being coached, again, whether you pay for a coach or it's a buddy coach, it shows your clients that you take pride in it, that you invest in it yourself, but it also allows you to experience what it really feels like to be coached, not conceptually, but from a real experiential place.